the second things that we want to talk today is connected with first is oops let's use the color uh, white it will be easier is generate and the second one is connected with replace so what is the difference in generate okay we are basically generating like one existing new file okay from some process that may be existing field this is what is new file okay or existing column maybe it will be much more proper because we are doing in the same file replace is basically you have this one for example the old one and you want to hmm, create not actually create but it's still in the same file which is old and you make it new with name replace so it's like this or cross and you make it new this is replace how it looks like in data let's see the example uh, so the most important first is like we will download the data we will take from applied econometrics with data here and the file is census to see we copy first the address of the link and then here we will use the word first we have to clean all of the file that we have the word drop all and then let's use the command insert using and then paste the link but make sure you're not putting s because this is odd data so they don't recognize the secure uh, connection and then write here comma at the end so this is explaining what it's using the csv file using this file you see and then it's separated by comma okay you got it and then enter so first we want to see how the data look like so we first try describe so we got like the information is like the state region population population herbs medium age like mar marriage and divorce number and then if you want to see data on the table it looks like this okay so first what we want to do is like this data because it's in sheet so you can already use the data as a starter uh, data no worries first like let's say we want to create a generate okay to create generate for example we want to create urbanizations we type the word urbanize and then this is like the num the amount of uh, population of urban divided by the whole population so for example pop herb divided by population and then if we want to see how it look like after we generate some data summarize urbanize and here we can see like there is 21 observation the mean and so on so generate basically like they making a new variable based on like what's the value of this so for example if you want to wants to type like how describe one more time this scribe the previous one there is no urbanized as you see here there is no urbanized and here they have new variable called urbanized and then we you see like for example urbanized the value is everything's in the percentage like all of them and you want to for example make it sorry in a comma not percentage and you want to make the amount is in percentage for example so for example you want to say right place and then the word urbanize the same and then equal with 100 multiplied by urbanize for example like this and then if you type summarize one more the urbanize here it's like everything already multiplied by this so replace basically like they're making something uh like the same name of the variable but with the new formula so understand like generate is more like creating something and replacing like replacing something that's all
okay i hope it somehow helped this is like still the beginning of the tutorial and let's go to the other video thank you hey my name is dimas i'm from not afraid that i the institute uh, i'm a final year uh, phd student in krakow university of economic in poland i have uh, published a couple of uh, article at the same time i also like a senior manager in one of the largest p2p uh, platform startup in the world and within the course we will learn a lot of things connected with econometrics because i understand that studying econometrics can be very challenging because we try to find what the theory and how it applies in the real world and not everything in the theory actually have the application in the real world that's why during the course we will try to find what can be so we will go through all the checklists that we have in the stata course and then after that we will see how it will be implemented in the code and perhaps we will find uh, everything in the applicable way so if you think uh, everything's it's gonna be uh, useful for you please also consider to subscribe this uh, channel and also see you in the next course and if you have a couple of questions feel free to ask in the comment section okay so see you in the next course and happy learning bye bye